Hi, I'm Craig Doden, Solutions Director at Century Business and Catalyst IT. I'm going to be going through Pinpoint Scan application with you guys today. So Pinpoint Scan is a high pass application developed by Kyocera to help with simplifying the scanning process to a PC. Pinpoint Scan allows you to create customized workflows for your own personal use. Once you load this application, it allows you to scan to multiple different locations. This includes OneDrive, Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, any type of application that sits down by the clock. The nice thing about the Kyocera High Pass application is the logo that you see down by your clock is the same logo that you see on the High Pass screen on the copier. So by simply seeing those, you know where to go to find either A, to make changes, or B, to get into Pinpoint Scan. Pinpoint Scan does a variety of different file formats, such as JPEG, TIFF, and PDF. And it also includes optional OCR if the OCR scan extension kit is attached to the copier. It's very simple to operate, it's very simple to use. Load the application, apply the pin, set up your scanning workflows, and you're ready to go. We'll go through and we'll show you how this is done. First, open up the identification tab. We type in our pin code. Once we type in our pin code, we'll go to destinations and you have three that automatically show up. You have desktop, email, which uses the email client, and my documents. Now those aren't the only three that you can do and you can also remove them if there's certain ones that you don't use, like an email client. For instance, if we use Google and you don't have a, a desktop client, you can simply remove the email function. Now this does not tie anything to do with the basic copier scan to email. This is a separate application that allows you to simply scan it back. If you choose the email button, it will open up your email client and attach the document for you to send out, which is very different than scan to email, which actually sends you an email directly from the device. Once you're in destinations, if you want to choose a new destination, you simply hit the plus sign. You choose the destination name, so you take out where you want it to go. You choose what type it is. So for instance, if we use folder or application or email, and then simply choose the folder path that you want it to go to. Now underneath panel options, there are a variety of different things that you can do. There is a browse subfolders. So Think of it as you have a mapped shared drive on your network and you want to be able to scan to multiple folders in there. If you choose browse subfolders, it will allow you to see all the folders on the copier for you to choose what folder to go into. And you can simply browse down to the folder that you want to go into. Once you browse that folder and you get it to where you want it to go, it will allow you to enter a file name at the panel. And you can also have it show the scanning settings. So if you have duplex or any of those other wings that you want to change, you can do that. You also have scan settings that are basic setup. Under the scan settings, you have color document, black and white document, OCR document. Those are just quick and easy ways to get those documents in without having to choose every time what type of document it is. And if you do not want to name it at the panel, but you have a specific naming convention, you can actually set up a naming convention using the file name options. So once you scan your application, the nice thing about it is in Pinpoint Scan, if you go to the third tab, which is document logs, it logs everything that has been scanned to your computer and what location it went to. you would have an application called Pinpoint Scan. You would hit it. You would type in your PIN code when it comes up. You would hit enter. It'll go out and find your computer. Here's my SharePoint software docs. If I hit that, it'll show me the folders that are in there. So I wanna to go to customer projects and I'm just gonna put it in the customer projects folder. And I'm going to, so you can see how it has it pushing that right into customer projects. I hit next. I can give it a file name. I can re delete this one, remove it, whatever. So I'm just going to delete it out quick and then put in my own one that I want. You don't have to. You can just let it go if you don't want to. But I'm just going to put in QWERTY. It's going to allow me to see the scan. 
what I'm going to go in as PDF, monochrome, all these different things. And I'm going to hit the scan button and it's going to scan that document. Once it scans it, it's going to come right back to the screen of the folder that I put it in. So I can do another one. If I'm done, I simply exit out and I'm not connected anymore. If I go into the software customer project files, once I open that, you'll see a folder in here or a document in here called QWERTY. You'll see that it is running. Once this turns green, then it's shot it up to the cloud. So if I refresh, it refreshes and then it puts it up in the cloud. To verify it, there it is there. You will see that QWERTY is there and it was scanned in a minute ago. I hope this helps. I hope it helps you understand how Pinpoint Scan can simplify your scanning process and help your business. 